have you spoken to or studied or hung out with like hardcore carnivore or keto type people? And if so, what's your observation? You know, I, I, I do hang out with hardcore carnivores <laughs> um, because I have family members that are hardcore carnivores, like my brother. Well, I wouldn't say he's a carnivore, he's an omnivore. And my observation. No, no, I mean, not, not omnivores, but like carnivore, people on the carnivore diet or keto and stuff like that. Oh, no, no. And, and I have I have had some clients who have come to me that have been on the keto diet and it hasn't worked well for them. They lost weight. They did well in those respects. Their their blood glucose levels went down, um, but they don't feel well. And uh, they normally people who are keto are not going to come to me unless it's not working well for them and they want to try something else. And so those kinds of people that have come to me for assistance to transition to a healthier diet, they do very well when they make the, the transition. So I've had several clients who have experienced. Well, the reason I ask you is I've, I've seen and interacted with people that are on the carnivore diet, the keto diet, and some, a lot of them look amazing and they feel great. And then I've seen people that are vegans as well, that some that feel great and look great. And I've also seen in both camps, people that don't feel well and don't look good either. Yeah, I've seen exactly. plenty of vegans that look awful and yeah. are obviously yeah. not healthy, but there's something they're doing wrong. And then same thing yeah. with, you know, you know, with pretty much with all diets, I've seen both, but why do you think that is? I think people, I, for the carnivore and keto diets, I think they're nutritionally inadequate diets. I think that they, um, you know, keto diet was rated last in, you know, the USDA or the US uh, diet rankings. Um, because it's it, it, nutritionally so deficient. So it's lacking a lot of the nutrients that are found in plant foods because it's too low in plant foods. And so people, you know, aren't going to do well long term. And there, there actually have been a number of studies that have looked at carbohydrate intakes and mortality and risk of heart disease and all of those things. And generally, the lower the carbohydrate intake, the worse people do. One of the biggest studies showed, I think it was a 58% increased risk of death in the lowest intake of carbohydrates, because carbohydrates are inherent to plant foods. Uh, all plant foods contain carbohydrates. And so when you do low carbohydrate, you're generally doing fairly low plant diets. And so you're minimizing things like fiber and phytochemicals and antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds and all of these things that are actually highly protective. And so in the short term, I think keto diets can induce weight loss and that always makes people feel better. But I think in the long term, people are shooting themselves in the foot because in the long term, they're reducing the very things in the diet or minimizing the very things in the diet that are the most protective. And they're increasing a lot of the things in the diet that are quite, quite pathogenic. Well, it sounds like though too, vegans, as you mentioned, need to supplement with B12, iodine. I forget the third thing you mentioned. So I guess in maybe in smaller ways, uh, the vegan diet is deficient as well, but with oh, supplementation is okay, right? Yeah. Well, the thing is, is there's only one nutrient that you absolutely have to you know, complement in a vegan diet, and that's B12. So iodine, you can get plenty of iodine from seaweed. So vegans can eat seaweed. If they eat seaweed, that's a really good source. But they can do what omnivores do also and use iodized salt. So it's not necessary to supplement if you're using something like that. Um, for vitamin D, if they get enough sunshine, they don't have to worry about it. If they don't, then they could use fortified foods or some sort of supplement, as many omnivores do as well. 